Hello and welcome to this restart in this Java multiplayer tutorial. It's been a long time since I did my first episode and since then I've learned a lot more about networking in Java so we're gonna start redoing it. So this won't be a full episode or anything, it'll just be kind of changing what we're gonna be doing. So instead of doing a multi-thread system or instead of doing the single thread NIO server we're gonna do a normal multi-threaded system because that will make use of more cores and stuff. Um, I'm going to do a future tutorial on um, NIO later, but for now I'm just going to cover multi-threading first, since that's typically easier to do. So to start with, I'm going to create a new project called Client, and just to finish on that, open it up and create a new package. I'm going to label this with my thing. It's called, yeah, I need a main. And create a main class. Basic setup stuff for earlier project. Okay, close that. And I'm not going to create new uh, packages, but you can if you want. So for this, I'm going to create a new class called Client, and now this is where we start networking. So the first thing I'm going to do is implement Runnable. So this will let it run on a separate thread, which I would prefer to have it on, so we're going to do it that way. And it's going to create the run method there. So up here, we're going to create some client variables. And I'm going to create a bunch of private ones. So we're going to start with a host and a port. So the host is the IP address of where the server is, and the port is what port you're running it on. So, And I'll go more in detail on this stuff once we start working on the server. So, I'm not going to go too much into it. So, now we're just going to create the socket object. And now, something that I haven't seen too many tutorials on is setting objects over it. So, and this is what I've been using for Chris Deco, but I'm not going to probably stick with it for too much longer. We set that up. We need an object output stream and a object input stream. And we'll call it in and out. So these are what's going to read in an object and send an object. And I'm going to do private boolean running goals false because we don't want it to start out running right away so we're gonna go down some more and let's create our constructor oops okay so we have so we're, it's called client oops and so we're gonna start with creating a string here, host and port. So we'll take in a string and a host, or pff, a host and a port that we will then assign to our previously declared values. So okay, and so we kind of have the object set up now. So now we need to have a way to connect to oops, connect to the server and if we go hmm, connect so this is the method that will then tell it to connect to the server so we're gonna go and do a try and catch statement and do socket equals new socket off of host and port. 
and so we have host port set up and we're going to create our input and output objects and inside these we need to put socket.get output stream and that's going to work with getting the stream from the socket. Oh, pretty self-explanatory. So now we're going to do a new input stream. And that, like you may expect, needs to get the input stream from the socket. So the last thing we're going to do is new thread this dot start. So now every time we call connect, it's going to connect to the server and start the new thread, which is what's it'll start running what's inside this method here. So before we go into creating this run method, oh, I forgot to add in these things, my catch statements. So we're going to have a connect exception, which dot print line this will mean like say the server's offline or you don't have an internet connection or things like that this error will be thrown so I'm just gonna say unable to oops, connect to the server so that's gonna work there and now we need one more catch, which is an IO exception. And in here, we'll just print the stack trace. Right. And we need to fix that. Okay. So now that's it done. All right. So before we do the run method, we're going to do one more thing and close the connection. So whenever, say, a player logs off of the game, we're going to want to tell them that, make sure that the server knows that the person's logging off. And we don't want to keep the connection open. So let's start running. I don't know. We don't need to set running equals false. And then we'll do in dot close out dot close and socket dot close and put a catch statement, which is going to be an IO exception again. And we'll just print the stack trace here. So this kind of ends our connection, but we're going to add one more thing later, which is going to be tell the server that we disconnected. So I'll leave that there for now, and we'll put that in later. So now if we go into our run method, gonna do another try and catch block and this time running equals true and while running we're gonna then try and listen for new data so any data from the server this part is going to collect that data so let's see we need an object here called data equals in dot read object. So that's going to read and listen for a new object from the server. And then we're going to do deal with or handle data. And we'll do that later. Now we've got to set up this stuff. Class not yeah, not found exception. 
So what this exception does is if um, like it's unable to get the object or something like that or you don't have a copy of the class on the client. I think that's more what it is. But I'm not too sure and you don't have to worry about it too much. So then this one's way more obvious. Exception. And this one is for import that. This one's if there's a problem with the socket connection while you're working while the server's running sorry while the client's running if there's a problem with it this will catch it so if so we're gonna just close we don't need the client open if something happens so it'll stop all the other players from experiencing problems when we just disconnect and then do that lots of errors to catch and now I think we, there's one less method we should add in here and I'll add it below the, uh, we'll do it above the one and that's send data to the server and to do that we're just going to create a simple method that's going to make this a bit easier on us called send object call this packet and we need another try and catch block which I'm tired of writing these now write object packet and now once we're done with writing the packet we need to make sure it all worked out so another IO exception And ue dot oops print stack trace All right. so now we have that done. So I think I'm already at twelve minutes, so I think that's all I'm gonna do for this tutorial. Um in the next one, I'm going to handle, I think I'll add in the, tell the server what we disconnect, that we disconnected, and how we're going to handle the data. So, for now, you have a client that can connect to a server and read data, but it won't do anything with it. So, I think that's how I'll end it. So, thanks for watching.